Next up is Pete the Cat. Out of this world. He is very happy. He has been chosen for a super groovy mission. He is going into outer space. He will be the first cat to walk on the moon. But first, Pete has to train. Pete goes into the zero gravity chamber. He spins and spins and spins. He learns how to drive a rover. Pete practices picking up small rocks. Pete goes to mission control. He learns how to the astronauts speak to the crew on Earth. He learns how the rocket goes into space and he learns how it lands. Finally, Pete is ready. Pete and the other astronauts climb into the space capsule. They buckle in and prepare for the flight. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Ship shakes and rattles. A loud sound fills the cabin. Pete looks out the window. They're speeding through outer space, super cool. The ship blasts past the satellite. A comet streaks below the window. The Earth grows smaller as the astronauts make their way to the moon. The trip to the moon takes a long time. Pete brings out his guitar. He plays a groovy interstellar song for the other astronauts. The astronauts float through the cabin to the beat of Pete's song. Mission Control listens in. Cool beat, Pete, they say. Finally, the rocket lands on the moon. Pete straps on his spacesuit. He opens the door and climbs down the ladder. His feet touch the ground. Pete and the other astronauts walk around. It's time to explore. Pete looks at the surface of the moon. It's bumpy and kind of dusty, nothing like the ground at home. He climbs into the rover. He uses his training to drive over the surface of the moon. He collects moon rocks to bring back to Earth and maps the moon's surface. Pete's mission is almost complete, but first he has one more job to do. He straps on a jetpack and heads toward Mars. He takes out a special camera. He points it at the red planet and starts to take pictures. Pete zooms left, he zooms right, snap, snap, snap. Soon, he has thousands of pictures. Oh no, Pete lost track of time. He has drifted too far away from the moon. He has to make it back before the ship takes off for Earth. Pete refires his jetpack. He zooms towards the moon's surface. If it does not make it back, he will be stuck in space forever. Phew. Pete makes it back just in time. The other astronauts are already on the ship. Pete climbs aboard and straps himself in. The ship take, shakes and rattles as it takes off. Pete looks out the window. The moon grows smaller as the astronauts begin their journey back to Earth. Finally, the ship reaches Earth's atmosphere. It touches down and taxis to a stop. Mission Control cheers. They are glad to have their astronauts home safe, and they can't wait to see the pictures and rocks Pete collected. Pete's trip to outer space was out of this world. He's psyched to have his feet back on solid ground, but he hopes he gets to go up again soon. Mars seems like a groovy place to explore next. Rock it on, Pete.